Welcome back painters. Today I will show you how to paint dark angels. This will be a two part video. Today's video is about using the airbrush. So if you're ready, let's do it. The first step is to prime the figure. I used the black and gray mix technique. Visit the link to the video where I explain how to prime your minis. Now I am going to paint the base color. I will use heavy black green. This range of paints is a bit more dense so we have to use airbrush thinner. We add more drops than usual to get the perfect dilution. Mix them well. Very important to take enough time for thinning. I will use the Infinity CR Plus with a 0.15 millimeter needle and the pressure is at 1.8 bar. I check it out and here is a heart for you because I love you. Let's apply the base color. As I always say, apply thin layers and do not rush. We apply a thin layer, let it dry and repeat until we get a perfect base color. Here you can see the final result. This would be two to three layers. Notice the result is very thin. First highlight, I will use a lighter green color. I put it on the blister and add some water. As it is the model color range, we can just use water, but you could also use airbrush thinner. It's up to your personal preference. I will add some more paint to be sure I have enough paint to highlight. I add some more water, mix them thoroughly. Perfect dilution. So let's put it inside the airbrush. I check it, always test it. It flows properly. And let's apply the first highlight. I get closer to the figure. I tilt the figure a bit and add soft touches. Layer after layer, the smoother the better. If we press the trigger too hard, a very strong jet will spray out and will spoil all the previous work. So it's better to apply thin layers and go slowly. Little by little, the color becomes more saturated. That is, becomes more intense. So apply a layer, let it dry and repeat. So it works much better. Highlight the upper parts. Look at the leg on the knee pad, how I highlight the upper parts. Then I focus on the back. I am highlighting softly. So I will get a good result. On the backpack, the same. Notice how little by little the color becomes more intense. Take it easy, do not rush. Here you can see the final result of the first highlight. Very smooth. Second highlight. 
Shake up the bottle very well, put it on the blister, add some water and mix it. In this step, the highlights will be more noticeable because this color contains more yellow and what does yellow do? It adds luminosity. Never highlight a green with white because it desaturates it. Write down this little trick. Put it inside the airbrush, test it, perfect dilution. So let's apply the second highlight. I get a little closer and apply thin layers. Here's the trick. Patience. Do not rush. This is a hobby. You have to have fun. Don't stress out. Apply a thin layer, let it dry, and repeat, so the color becomes more intense. And a lot of patience. Pay close attention to the box. Soft touches. So we apply a smooth paint layer, little by little, the color gets stronger. We keep painting. A trick, when paint gets dry on the tip of the needle, use a brush with some cleaner on it to remove it. Just like that, you can continue painting. I told you this trick on previous videos, but I always like to repeat it. I keep highlighting. I get closer and notice the color becomes more intense. Tilt the figure a bit so the spray doesn't get into the crevices and stays only on the upper parts. It's looking really snazzy. I get a bit closer. See how I highlighted the helmet? Comment below with any questions you might have. So I will know all of your doubts and can solve them. Look at the edge, how I highlight the lower part. It creates contrast. This is getting super cool, this dark angel. The arm, the same. I tilt a bit and paint it. And where are the highlights? On the highest areas. Here you can see how I apply the second highlight. You can see that the color is more intense. Third highlight, and I will use lime green. This green color contains more yellow so it will add more luminosity and will make the highlights stand out even more. Add water and mix well. We put it in the airbrush, test it out, and here's another heart because I love you so much! I'm going to paint the third highlight, but where? In the same areas as in the previous steps, but reducing the area that will be highlighted. This video is intermediate level. The process is simple, and we always start from a dark color to a lighter color. This video is also good for beginners. Simple steps, so you can follow them very easily. If you look, I get closer to the figure and add soft touches. Notice how I highlight the head. 
Lime green adds more intensity to the color. If you like darker dark angels, this step is not necessary, but I like to add more luminosity. The color is up to you, but on this video, I want to add more luminosity to the Dark Angel's green. You see how it looks, just soft touches so the color becomes more intense. Notice how I am positioning the figure while painting. Here you can see the final result, how the head is illuminated, the shoulder pads, the backpack. This is spectacular. Fourth highlight, final step. I will mix sunny skin tone and lime green. Here we gamble it all because we need to be absolutely precise. We will paint the points of light, that is, the final highlights. Light touches that make all the difference. This dilution must be perfect and so must the airbrush. Put the mixture in the airbrush, test it out, make sure it flows properly, and let's apply those soft touches. Be ever so careful. We have to be as precise as possible, so get closer to the figure, very slightly press the trigger. Look in the box. They are soft touches like ch -ch -ch. And little by little, the color becomes more intense. Do not rush. If we press the trigger too much, disaster. So be patient. You are learning, so let's go slowly. Look at the head. They are soft touches and already the light stands out. On the arm, the same. Light touches on certain parts. On the head, shoulder pads, top of the knee pad, light touches. In the next video, I will show you how to finish this figure with the brush, since you have to paint the grooves, the edges, and many other things. This video is just about using the airbrush because it helps us to speed up the painting process a lot since we can achieve a much better finish much faster. Here you can see the final result. I hope this video will help you and I recommend you watch the next one because I will finish this Dark Angel. Has it been easy, guys? If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. You already know what you have to do now. Hit the like button so I know you liked it. Share it with your friends so that this video reaches more people. And ring the bell so you can be notified about future videos. And don't forget that in the video description, there is a full list of the products that I use. If you live in Spain, you can get all the products at Goblin Trader, in France, at Hobby Shop, and in the United Kingdom at Element Games. And finally, I give you a big kiss. Until the next video.